Hey everybody, this is John. Welcome to the free video. So let's take a look at what's cooking. Uh, we did um, a trade in CMG in the room on Thursday. The idea was, hey, we're getting a head shoulders top here. Let's see if this can continue pushing lower. And it looks like we started uh, a little bit of the break today. And, you know, it's always tricky on this. Like, it's if it's going to have a big move, then great. If you buy puts, you're going to make bank. If you want to be safer, you sell a call credit spread. So we sold the 400, 410 call credit spread for next week. Uh, nice little profit on it today. You can see that next week the expected move is $11, and we're trading at 388, which is already slightly outside the expected move. So we should be in good shape next week and continue to enjoy Theta Decay on our position. Um, in other trades, Google was quiet. We just did the uh, a little bit of a kind of a pinning play on Google. That was just good for a little bit of a scalp as it kind of worked its way towards $800 uh, for the day. Um, let's see, what else did we have going on here? Oh, Tesla. We had the Tesla pin. It is monthly expiration, so it's all about pin, uh, pins and stuff like that. So uh, the Tesla pin at 225 ground our way up to 225 as if by magic and then Ulta this was a great one another one where it had been nice to buy calls but it continued to move higher our put credit spread expired worthless uh, that's great and Yelp which is another one where we just kind of held on to it and the put credit spreads expired worthless and that's great that you know other people who bought those options that money you know it's kind of essentially taken out of their account as they lose the money but it goes into the our accounts when we sold it and that's the whole idea of premium erosion which it which is great so from here as we look into next week uh, there's a couple of stocks that i like here and i do like some stocks here that are based on good fundamentals good technicals if they have high short interest it's a bonus so lululemon here i love that we've got this big squeeze setting up i like that there's short interest here and i'm looking for this to go pop and tag 8344 next week now we're not talking about some stock that's going to have some humongous crazy move but is it a tradable move does it allow us the opportunity for profit and the answer to that is absolutely another one I've been watching is Twilio and Twilio of course is a new IPO and it's been all over the place and it looks like we got that $55 kind of a pin this week for that options expiration um, but when you see something like this like this big spike the charts you know they don't like to leave levels like that un checked or untouched so I would look for at some point kind of a bounce back up to that level and at this point I'd be looking at because the implied volatility on this option is super high this is a good candidate a good candidate for selling puts for next week okay and there's a couple of other tools that you can use in this kind of environment where you know everybody's worried is the market gonna roll over and what kind you know what kind of stocks we want to look at etc cetera, etc cetera. so I, for those of you that have not heard of this, uh, this is a really cool tool that I like. It is, if if you guys have heard of this, it's, um, I always call it Chalk and Analytics, uh, but it's uh, uh, from Mark's company. But what we've got here, if you go to simpleroptions.com forward slash CA, you'll see essentially the tool that Mark has put together. He calls it uh, his money flow indicator. Okay, and, there's, and what this does is it rates the financials, rates the earnings, rates the technicals, and essentially ranks it across all those as very bearish or very bullish. And what's nice about this is that you get like kind of what's called a power gauge number, and it just kind of helps you filter out the best of the best. And what will happen a lot of times as we're trading, it's kind of like, okay, we're always looking at, like, say, a Tesla, but there's going to be times when Tesla's doing nothing. And this is just kind of a tool that you can say, like, okay, and, you know, it's all about finding trade ideas, right? And this is just a really interesting tool, and I, you don't see this too much, where something combines technical and fundamental fundamental data okay a lot of times it's pretty easy to get all the technical stuff like hey let's do all this and you know is there a squeeze and all that kind of stuff too but can we combine technical with fundamental you actually get some new ideas that typically are, are very very solid and um, especially in this kind of market which is really quiet you want to find those stocks that are doing their own thing regardless of the market and this is a great tool for doing that so uh, he's going to be doing a free webinar uh, if you go to this this go to this page here you can just kind of scroll down and you'll see a place to enter in your email uh, which you can see right here is if, if you scroll down there 
And so the kind of stuff that you're going to be, he's going to be talking about here, so you just see your first name, email, all that kind of stuff, is that you're going to be talking about, um, he's going to show you and say how to avoid the overhyped stocks and other landmines that destroy portfolios, using the power gauge rating with two technical indicators to find winning stocks, increase profits by better timing, entry, and exits. And there's one simple indicator to know whether or not a stock is likely to beat or miss earnings, which I actually found was very intriguing. So anyway, again, free webinar, cool tool. Hope you like it. And, you know, you'll get an email with all the details, but it is going to take place uh, Tuesday. Um, that's next Tuesday, the 23rd. And that'll be after the market close at 3.30 Central. But if you sign up here, you'll get the email with all the info. All right, you guys have a great weekend.